Hello, I am Jenny and I am here with my partner Jennifer. Today we will be exploring how to use four different apps and extensions. The Tide Chrome extension, Improve Your Memory app, Gratitude app, and Meditation Studio app. These are tools that can be used to help teach students about mindfulness. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking on our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with the Tide Chrome extension. Featured here is the Tide Focus Timer and White Noise Chrome extension. So all you need to do is type Tide Focus Timer and White Noise into the Google Chrome web store and you will find this. All you do then is hit Add to Chrome. It will ask for permission and go ahead and add the extension. This only works if you have Google Chrome as your browser. Then you see it is added to the top here. It is that circle image. If you click on it, you need to make sure it's pinned to the top and then click the circle and a little box pops up. Here is where you can choose your different sounds ocean, rain, all different nature sounds. And then once you hit focus, it actually plays the nature sound and it has a timer feature. This is a great tool for students and adults to allow us to have nature sounds when we're doing our work. It allows us to be mindful and focused. Also, you can click the settings button and here you can select work mode. This way you can adjust your length of time and you can also set for breaks, which is great for students to allow for brain breaks. Also, you can choose to activate any of those. It also keeps track of your statistics. So on this page, it'll tell you how many times you chose to focus today and how many minutes you spent focusing. So all in all, this Google Chrome extension is a great tool for students to be mindful and shut out extraneous noises and to be focused in the classroom. The next mindfulness tool has to do with memory. So on the Google Play Store, you can type in the following title, improve your memory, boost your brain and focus. Look for this logo with the post-it notes. Unfortunately, you cannot install it on your laptop, but it needs to be used on a Google Play capable device, such as an Android. This app is really neat. It allows students to practice mindfulness through memorization, through games. It helps students who are struggling with memory. So say students are struggling with remembering facts in class, you could send them to this to learn how to focus and how to memorize things through game. And it also gives them tons of tips and tricks about how to use physical activity, daily habit practice to improve memory. So this could be a neat addition to a student's repertoire to help build their memorization skills. The next mindfulness tool we're going to focus on is the Gratitude app. It is a simple journaling app, but it allows you to keep track of all the great things that you have going on in your day. It is actually available on both iTunes and in the Google Play Store. However, it is not a web-based program. You do have to have a device. This is a great tool for students and adults alike. As you can see in the video on the screen here, it has a collection of items within, which I'm going to highlight in a moment. But it does let you set a passcode for protection. It does let you also write about your day on your own, or it can offer you writing prompts. You can include photos with your reflections. And you can also set reminders on your phone so that it reminds you what to do. Here are some of the highlights of what it looks like inside the app. This is the space where you can add your entry and add a photo. This is completely free. You can also change the date and the color scheme, whatever you would like. It also gives you daily thoughts and Zen reminders, which are really neat and things that you can reflect on and could lead to discussions in the classroom. You also can create your own daily affirmations. This is where students could set goals or they could set their own affirmation or their own intention for the day. And it keeps track of your streaks. It lets you know how many days in a row you've completed your gratitude journal. It celebrates your gratitude journey. And here are tons of the features, including saving your journal so you don't lose everything. 
Our final mindfulness tool is called Meditation Studio. It is an app on both Android and on Apple. It is also available on the computer if you go to meditationstudioapp.com. So what this is is a bunch of guided meditations, but they are organized by topics. As you can see, deepening your practice, happiness. There are all types of guided meditations as well as talks. There is content that is paid, but the free stuff is wonderful. You can use this in the classroom by allowing everyone to stop, become mindful in the moment, and playing one of these over the speaker. You could also give this to students as a tool to do on their own. It's very simple. All you do is hit play, and you take it from there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.